Hello, hello everybody. How are you guys doing? Welcome to another Facebook Friday, Frulici Friday, and the sun is trying to peek out. I'm so excited. It's funny, um, you know, normally I'm like, oh, the sun drives me crazy with all of the glare and everything, but we have not had very much sun around here lately, and I think everyone's kind of feeling the effects, so I'm happy. Yay! Hey, Sandy, how are you doing? Is it sunny for you in Minnesota? Hopefully. I was saying we haven't had very much sun around here, so it's nice to <laughs> see a peak of sun. So hopefully everybody had a great week. Hi, Nikki. How are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Um, let's see what's been going on. Um, well, you know, Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday. Hopefully you guys all have a great Mother's Day weekend, either if you're a mom or pampering your mom or or aunts and grandmas and you know any of the moms in your life um, hopefully everybody has a great day on Sunday for Mother's Day and what else oh I'm heading down to Lansing tomorrow for um, a Stampin' Up kind of a leadership type of um, kind of get together really more than anything our demonstrator development manager um, from the corporate Stampin' Up office um, Shannon West is her name and she is awesome. We got super lucky to have Shannon as our DDM for kind of um, this, I don't know, is it like the Great Lakes area? I can't remember what we call, what, what our group is called. Anyway, she's coming to Lansing. So she is putting this event on tomorrow and it's just kind of a get together and brainstorm. And yes, you're in, you are in and out or I am in and out. I wonder, hopefully everything's okay. My, my phone didn't say I had a bad connection, so I'm hoping everything is good. Maybe, I don't know, is weather weird where you are? I don't know. Hopefully the sun is shining though. Um, so yeah, so I'm heading down there tomorrow. I'm going to get together with lots of other um, Stampin' Up! demonstrators and just kind of brainstorm and I think, you know, pick each other's brains and, um, you know, learn lots of good stuff and share lots of good stuff too. So hi Sandra, how are you doing? Oh my gosh, love to have all you guys on here. So um, yeah, I've got lots to show you. I see I've got my my table is full of lots and lots of goodies to share with you guys today. So I think, um, <clears throat> what do I want to show you guys first? Oh, well, my um, the All Things Thanks stamp set, that was our product of the week this week. I My stamp set is actually down at the stamp studio because I have class this afternoon. And of course, we're using that stamp set. So I'm going to show you in the catalog this awesome thank you stamp set the all things things and I know it's backwards but it's so funny we had class I think um, I don't know if I put this in a post but a couple of weeks ago and that <laughs> this funny it's it is kind of quirky this thanks for that thing you did was like a super popular <laughs> stamp everybody wanted to use that on one of the cards they were making hi Louise how are you I'm glad you can join us also so anyway I thought okay I'm gonna make a card because I was going through as I was prepping um, for that product of the week and I realized I didn't have too many cards made with that stamp set which is always the like oh my gosh I gotta play with these things before they retire I know I've mentioned that before but I was like okay I'm gonna make a card with that stamp set so I can share it with you guys so this is one of the cards that we are making at class today and we made it on Wednesday also here's that thanks for that thing you did hi Sharon yay I'm glad you can join us today um, and I love this happiness blooms designer series paper this paper Paper just makes me happy honestly I love those bold bright Susie hello hello the bold bright colors on here and then I love kind of the accents the yellow accents too with that pineapple punch just kind of pulling from the flowers and then a little bit of detail around um, <clears throat> that stitched well we use the stitched shape framelits and then we use the layering square framelits um, for the inside and then with our pineapple punch card base a tall card that opens up like that um now i'm like oh we should do something fun on the inside too i'll have to think about that so anyway i just loved i thought this was such a cute sentiment just kind of a funny you know when you're like i just want to say thank you in kind of a quirky way thanks for that thing you did so anyway a fun card um i thought i would share with you guys because i finally i'm like i gotta get this posted too before the product of the week is over um because sometimes I do that. I'm like, there are things that I love that I haven't gotten to play with very much. So I have to go out to Pinterest and find other people's, you know, things that they've made to share with you guys to show how awesome the product of the week is. So, and I love that too. Hi, Terry. How are you? So glad you can join us. 
Um, I love Pinterest for that, that we all share our ideas. I try to put every single idea that I have out there on Pinterest too. And hi, Philomena. Yay, you're here. I'm glad you can join us. Um, but make sure you check out the Pinterest page, the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Pinterest page. If you ever need ideas, that's a great place for ideas as well. I post every, like I said, I try to post every project that we make at classes or events or that I'm just doing for fun um, on that Pinterest page. So. Yeah, and then Facebook too. Obviously, we try to get lots of good stuff on Facebook also. So check that out sometime. Um, so I think we can, man, I'm a little like, um, whew, okay, got to get my brain. <laughs> too many things going on, as usual. Isn't, I feel like I say that every single Friday, but the weeks just fly by, right? Um, okay, because I... I um, didn't get a chance to review my notes right before I went on live, which I usually do, so I kind of can flow a little bit better. <laughs> Doesn't always work that way. Um, so yeah, oh, well, and I guess I will say too, so that stamp set, the um, All Things Thanks stamp set that I used on this card, um, it's retiring, and I know I've said this before, but I am not kidding when I say I always have people later on this summer that say, oh, I love that stamp set that you shared, that All Things Thanks stamp set, and I didn't realize that it was retiring and, not, and then I missed out on it so I'm just I feel like you know I'm like keep saying that but I just want to make sure that if there's anything you want from the retiring list that get it while you still can stamp sets are guaranteed until May 24th which crazy enough I feel like is going to be be here before we know it I don't want to wish May away because it's one of those beautiful spring months right but all of a sudden it's going to be like here and gone so make sure you get anything that you want off of those retiring lists while you still can. I just checked um, last night, I guess, was I was prepping for the live, and there's still quite a bit of product. Um, there's very little that is not available. Hey, Nancy, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. Nancy and I are heading down to Lansing tomorrow. So yay, I'll be excited to hang out with you for the day tomorrow, Miss Nancy. Um, so what was I saying, retirement list? Oh, I think I did also learn, there was a post on the Stampin' Up! website. Typically, you know, a couple weeks into these last chance lists, they discount products. Um, and then, you know, they're at a, at a lower price. And they have decided, um, I guess based on sales so far, or maybe what they have left in inventory, I'm not exactly sure, but they basically decided they're not gonna do any discounting of the last chance products. So um, maybe people were kind of holding out to see, you know, if things were gonna be discounted, but the way I understand it, they're not gonna do any discounting. So whatever the price was in the annual catalog, that's what it's gonna be through the end of May. So if you're holding out, I, I guess I would say don't don't hold out any longer. That way, obviously, you make sure you get what you want as well. Um, so yeah, that was something different. It's funny because, you know, we start to kind of predict like, oh, that's what they've done the past few years. So, you know, a couple weeks after the retiring list comes out, they're going to discount product and they, <laughs> they always keep us on our toes, I guess is how I feel. Like you never, you cannot rely on what they did last year or the year before. Is that what they're going to do this year? You never know. So anyway, but just that one last plea, get those retiring last chance products while you still can so you're not disappointed if you miss out on anything. And I will tell you, um, honestly, the easiest way to see, you know, what is retiring? If you go to the Stampin' Up! website and there, I think actually the Everything is Rosy product medley is like, you know, the big banner at the top. But if you scroll down a little bit, one of the smaller banners is the last chance um, retiring list. And so just click on that. Um, and then it'll give you, I think they broke it up into like stamp sets, bundles, and then what they say, everything else. So if you just click on those, you can kind of see all the pictures of everything that's retiring. And I think that's the easiest way. Like when you want to look at stamp sets, then you can look at all of the images and all the sentiments and everything. So it would be worth taking a scroll through those last chance lists on, just go to stampinup.com. Um, and then you can look through those lists and make sure you get everything that you want. In a little bit, I'll give you the host code so if you do put an order in make sure you use the host code because then you get um, the projects that I'm going to demonstrate later and your name in the drawing for I've got some awesome stuff I'm going to give away so I'll tell you guys about that in just a little bit um, 
Okay, so I think we are ready to do our drawing. I've got my little paper pumpkin bag here. So, oh yeah, hold up. What are we giving away? This is the Whisper White, and I don't have any more. I didn't even open this up. The Whisper White Flax Ribbon, which is funny because you're like, eh, white ribbon seems kind of boring, but <laughs> I have used this ribbon so much. I think because I love to pull pull the strands apart too and use it like twine. So it's great. It's kind of like our burlap, only it's white and it's a little bit softer. It's not quite as coarse as our burlap ribbon. But anyway, okay, so you've got an entry in here if you commented on Facebook Live. You've got three entries if you shared the Facebook Live video. Just make sure you put a comment on your share when you do that. Then my random day, where's my little, somewhere, I know it was Sunday, yep, yep. My random draw. I have these little, <laughs> so kind of like names, right? Um, I just have um, this little list of days of the week. So Sunday was the day I just kind of shuffle them all up and pull one out. So Sunday, if I posted anything last Sunday, which was May 4th, if you commented or shared or shared your own project of something, a uh, picture of a project you've made, then your name went in here three times. So, okay. I'm going to shake these all around. Oh, yeah, and if you're new, if you sign up for my email list, your name went in here three times as well. So, okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, <laughs> I have to tell you guys, I'm like looking out the window across the street. There is a house that, I don't know if it's actually for sale, but there's been a lot of activity over there. There isn't really a sign up, but I'm, <laughs> I'm watching people walk around the house, pointing at it, checking it out. Oh, he's getting the tape measure out now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like... Who, I, you know, you're always curious. Oh, maybe they'll be the neighbors. I wonder what they're like. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, let's see. Sharon, what are you saying? Um, I saw somewhere that you can use the blends to, oh, very cool. Yeah, I'm sure you could. I'm sure. Yeah, so the white ribbon is not boring any longer, right? You can, you can make this white ribbon whatever color you need it to be. Oh! That is so cool. Sharon, you need to do that and then show us what you make. I want to I wanna see, because I know how much you love ribbon, right? <laughs> okay, um, and hey, Sally, and with the markers too. Mm -hmm. The only thing, maybe the markers, because they're water-based, they might um, bleed a little bit. I would probably say that the blends are a better choice because of the alcohol-based, um, yeah, whatever. They're alcohol-based markers, so they won't bleed like if they get wet or something. So, okay, all right. Enough chatter, chatter. I've got a name. I've shaken these around a ton. So let's see. The winner, hey, Miss Sally, putting that out there, commenting and sharing, right? Okay, so Miss Sally wins this bolt of the Whisper White Flax Ribbon. So Sally, I'll have this for you down at the studio to pick up. Okay. Oh, shoot. I forgot to bring something to dump. I got to just dump all these names out. Okay. So it's ready for the next drawing. Okay, let me scoot those out of the way there. All right, so do you want to know what we're gonna give away next week? <laughs> I love, this is the, so um, this is the Coastal Cabana and Copper. Do you see that? I am all about this like beautiful shimmery ribbon and then with that edging where there is the glare man i don't know if i move away now nah, anyway you guys get the idea right so this i love this ribbon this is going to be retiring this is part of the tea room ribbon combo pack um so this is one of them so i'm going to give this away next week um so as usual one entry for commenting, three entries if you share the Facebook Live video, three entries if you're new to me and sign up for the email list, and then I'll do that random draw day. And if you comment or share or post a picture of a project you've made on that day, your name is gonna go into the drawing to win the ribbon. And I know, Marianne, I love this ribbon. And no need to color it, you're right, Sharon. This is beautiful, I love. Mm. <sighs> this time of year is so hard, isn't it? You. I mean, you guys maybe don't feel it quite the same way because you can hang on to this stuff, but I look at all of this and I'm like, oh, I haven't used this enough yet. I want to make another project with it before it retires. So maybe I will. I don't know. There, the problem is there are way too many of those things um, to still play with before they retire. So, okay, I'll just have to deal with it because you know what? There's going to be lots more cute new stuff coming too, is always the case. So, um... All right, let's see. Oh, I want to show you guys. So, you know, I'm always talking about paper pumpkin. So today is the last day here. This is kind of a fun, that's the outside of the box. I have it all open because I want to show you guys 
how cute and they always put this really pretty blue I always want to use this um, tissue paper on other things but I'm gonna to try to tip this up so you guys can kind of see all the product and the projects in here so this is last month's kit that they sent to us with that distinctive stamp set in it so I'm gonna just show you a few things um, did I say this already today is the last day to sign up I'll, before I forget for the hugs from Shelly uh, paper pumpkin kit so inspired and designed by Shelly and then with that cute box so this is Shelly Gardner if you haven't seen her before she is one of the women that started it all started stamping up she and her sister started stamping up over 30 years ago now so okay so the funding and I don't know if these kits are still available sometimes past kits are available in either refill or full kits um, and I didn't check that. So maybe I'm teasing you, but maybe if you're a current Paper Pumpkin subscriber, obviously you have this. Or if you just sign up, today's the last day, you could order this past Paper Pumpkin kit too. So this is cute because this is just um, one of like our clear acetate box, a little bit different size. Um, they give that cute little band on there. And then look at, can you guys see, I've seen so many projects made with that stamp. I think because it's just so beautiful. So that little thingy, the holder and then there were three I'll show you them individually there were three different cards that came in the kit so they're a little bit smaller and then ooh, we've got this awesome happy Mother's Day on that one and then a congratulations and you can see they gave us um, some of those really pretty enamel dots maybe in mint macaron I'm thinking and then here I used happy birthday on that one they give you the labels um, they give you the twine I love I don't know um, let's see if I get it in the right light. Where is a good light? Nowhere, apparently. Oh, there's a little bit better. So I don't know if you can hear. Can you hear that? It's like a little ridgy kind of a textured piece. So they give you kind of all of the elements to make. Oh, there. Now you guys. Oh, and can you see? There's a little bit of printing on um, the card base too. That was the case with all of them. Actually, if you can see that yellow there, if I bend it in like that, now you guys can see it a little bit better. And this one actually... Did it? Yeah, there, it was kind of like newspaper print on the card front itself. Ooh, in the right light. Oh my gosh, not very good lighting. Um, and then cute envelopes too. So did I say this? These are a little bit smaller size cards, but I love um, the liners that they put inside of them too. So a little bit smaller cards and envelopes, but they fit all of these things would fit perfectly right in your little box. So super, super cute, right? And then that's not all. You got this beautiful stamp set. So this was the May, no, this is May right now. This was the April Paper Pumpkin Kit, right? So with that distinctive stamp, that beautiful flower. And then the sentiments, I don't know if you're gonna be able to read those. We've got, <clears throat> For you, happy Mother's Day, thinking of you, thank you, happy birthday, congratulations, and best wishes, plus a pretty leaf on there too. So awesome stamp set. Here's my extra twine that I have left over. Here's my little ink spot. This one was a gray granite. And then you can kind of see, like these are some of the little banners, those ridgy ridgy banners just kind of to add some texture. So you always end up with some extra pieces in here too once you've made, because I actually made all of these. I kind of just sat down and played one day, which you know, you just don't give yourself enough time to do that, it doesn't seem. So that was like a fun day, fun night. Can't remember when it was, but anyway, so awesome. Paper pumpkin kits are an amazing crafting, kind of simple experience. Um, they give you step-by-step -step instructions. They give you, there's a video on YouTube. People always make tons of other projects using the product in these kits too. So if you want alternative ideas, so sign up today to get the May uh, hugs from Shelly paper pumpkin kit and you can stop and start whenever you like uh, but they're great like just to take with you like if you're going on vacation you know you got a little like you might have a little downtime or a rainy day or like camping or something so here lots of people doing that too so sign up for paper pumpkin and enjoy those cute red red box fun red box in the mail too I love that also so um, let's see Oh, okay, I think we are ready. Let me make sure, okay, the names are in here. So last week, I'm like looking at my table here to make sure I've got everything covered. 
Last week I had announced that if you put at least your $30 online order in and use the host code, I was gonna give away the stitched label framelits. And I haven't even opened these. I think maybe I showed mine last week. Hey Sunday, how are you doing? Um, so anyway, we're gonna do the drawing for this. So I had a couple of online orders. So thank you very much too for your orders. I can't tell you how much I appreciate um, you choosing me to put your order in through. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do this drawing. And if even if you, um, if your name is not drawn here, you're still gonna get the projects that I demonstrated last week. And if your order was over $50, you get a free embellishment. I'm gonna to have to hold off on sending the free embellishment. I've been trying to get better about you know, getting kind of a stockpile of them and send them out as the online orders come in. But I wanna let you guys know, this is gonna be the month when I'm not able to do that because I wanna get you guys new stuff. And I can, I'm i really limited on like the quantities of things and I like to do the same thing for everybody for the whole month. So I'm gonna have to wait until the beginning of June when I can um, order bunches of these things and then I'll get them out to you as quickly as I can. So just know that, that I'm not, not sending you these things, but I wanna get you some new stuff. So, I'm a, and I'm limited, I can't do it quite right now. So, okay, all right, enough chatter again. Let me shake them around in here, and the winner, I got one name, Miss Louise. And Louise, I am gonna say, you're, I, I wanna say it's Guccicardo, but I don't know if that's right. So you have to tell me if I said that right or not. So, oh, glad, I'm glad you're back, Sally. <laughs> so Miss Louise, I will get your stitched label framelits sent out to you. Thank you very much for your order. And then the projects that I demonstrated too. And I'll have to figure that out. If I'm gonna send the free embellishment separate or if I'm, I don't know, I'll let you know, okay? So thank you very much though. I appreciate your order. And, and everybody's online orders too. I appreciate all of those. Sorry, I'm like branching out to like put stuff over here. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, Louise. Um, okay, so I'm gonna hold off on showing you guys what we're gonna give away because it's part of something else I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. So let me just do my quick review. Yep, I think we have done everything. Um, yeah. Okay, do you guys wanna see, how am I gonna show this to you? So, <clears throat> my latest class to go. I told you guys that I had this, right? So I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna move the camera down. I think I'm gonna, because you can't really, I can't really show you guys. I've got it in my cute little box, but it's this, ha, this class to go. So it features the, no, I'm gonna just show you guys. Okay, so it features the, what do I wanna show you guys if you haven't seen on YouTube yet? So we've got these four cards. You're gonna make two of each of these cards, right? I love, can you guys see the detail? We use the hexagon embossing folder. Love that detail, looks like a wheel or something. And then two of that project right there. So it features the, what is this called? The classic garage designer series paper. So I finally made some kind of manly masculine cards. I always have a hard time with those because they're just not as pretty as the, with all the flowers. Although I do love these colors. These are just, you know, fun. They're still fun and bright, right? So anyway, okay. So four projects, two of each of them, including, um, or I guess I use, this is the Itty Bitty Greetings stamp set, which is an awesome stamp set. It's 32 different stamps. Um, these, yeah, they're, I was like, are they red rubber or photopolymer? 32, yeah. 32 um, red rubber stamps, so 32 different sentiments. So I will tell you, don't um, not get the kit just because I put enjoy your retirement on this card because obviously any of the other 31 sentiments are in here are, they're all about the same size. So you can interchange whatever sentiment you need from this itty bitty greeting stamp set you can use on your card. So I just kind of gave you some nice masculine looking cards and you put whatever sentiment you want on them. Do not be limited by what I did, you know, in particular. If you like it, great. And if not, you got lots of other options. Um, we also are including a bolt of the black and silver, that metallic striped ribbon, and then a package of the faceted dots, because I loved using, there are, okay, do I know this? I'm thinking mint macaron, oh gosh, and they don't say on here either. It's like a peachy color, I wanna say maybe grapefruit grove, blackberry bliss, and then black. 
And the Blackberry Bliss is so deep dark purple, I think you could really call it black too. So anyway, I used a bunch of the black faceted dots on those projects. So, okay, real quick, I'm gonna tell you options. Option number one is the full class to go. So you get the Itty Bitty Greetings stamp set, you get the ribbon, you get the faceted dots, you actually, I throw in for free a pack of dimensionals, and then you get all the parts and pieces to make all four of those cards. Whoopsie. <laughs> this is why I should have done it down here. Two of each of them, right? Um, and the PDF tutorial that tells you step by step how to put everything together. And also with dimensions and everything in case you want to make more of any of those projects, right? So option number one is $68. Option number two is basically everything except the itty bitty greeting stamp set. So either you have this already or you have other stamps that you're gonna use. You'll get everything else that you need. So the ribbon, the faceted dots, all the parts and pieces for eight cards, two of each of them and the PDF tutorial. Option number two is $36. And both option number one and two ship priority mail for an additional $8 fee. Option number three is always the PDF tutorial, always $15, always available even after the deadline passes. And, oops, excuse me, then option number four is for anybody in my Inkspired Stampers group. If you want to get the make and take supplies to make those cards, um, two of each of the four, so eight cards total. It's a, basically, it's just a fee to cover the cost. It's just a $12 fee to get the make and take materials. You get your own stamp set. Um, I'll give you the other product that you need, so the ribbon and the faceted dots, um, to be able to make those projects too. But order, order the stamp set through your own demo ID so you can get your discount. Um, and that option, like I said, option number four for Inkspired Stampers is $12. And then as well, Inkspired Stampers can always get any of my PDF tutorials for free. So it's a great reason to buy that starter kit and get the, um, yeah, and become an Inkspired Stamper. And you get lots of goodies from me. <coughs> All right, I gotta get a sip of water real quick. My throat is being funny. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> All right, so now I think I'm gonna clear this. I made a little mess on my table here, but I'm gonna clear this class to go out of the way. We are gonna flip the camera down now, and I'm gonna show you the projects that we are going to make. Let's see, let's get this guy. I'm gonna put that guy right there too. Okay, so turn your heads away for one moment while we flip the camera around here. Okay, let's see. You guys still with me? I'm always afraid I'm gonna lose people when I when I flip that. Okay, so just so you guys know, this is the host code for May, the UMM7H63Q. So that's the host code you wanna use if you order online this month to get all the goodies from me. Um, okay, so you guys, all week long, actually last week, I was featuring, this is the Everything is Rosy product medley, and I cannot wait to show you guys this and tell you what I decided I'm gonna do. I actually got an extra, so I, I ordered two of these um, product medleys because I knew I was gonna need more of the paper and so on than what came in like one, <laughs> one product medley. So. I am, so next week, on next week's Facebook Live, I'm gonna give you basically a sampler of the paper and the die cuts, and um, I'm gonna show you everything. And yeah, basically I'm gonna give you a sampler. It's not gonna include the stamp set and the framelits, but it's gonna include all of the consumables. So that's gonna be my giveaway on next week's Facebook Live. If you put that online order in and use the host code, you're gonna get a sampler of the consumable products from the Everything is Rosy product medley and I'm going to show you these in more detail you may have seen them but I just cannot I have to show you guys one more time just in case there's anybody that hasn't seen this super cute product medley and to remind you guys too this is so it's kind of like a suite of products but they called it a product medley because it all comes together the only way you can get any of this is all in the product medley so it's $80 and it includes all of this stuff now the other thing to know is it's only available while supplies last i haven't heard any chatter 
Um, and I don't think it's in low inventory, but I guess I would say, you know, if you see it and fall in love with it, and I'm sure there are so many ideas already out there on Pinterest and YouTube, you're going to want this product. So order it sooner than later, just so you don't run into that. Oh my gosh, I wanted to get it and I couldn't because it ran out. Okay. So I'm going to show you. So you get this Everything is Rosie stamp set. And can you see, I'm going to try to come in real close. So we've got May your birthday be filled with pretty things. There's a dear friend. Time to celebrate all the lovely things in life, starting with you. Congratulations. This is an awesome one. Don't let worry spoil your happy. Oh, uh, we can all live by that. Oh, Sharon, yours came yesterday. Yay. That's awesome. That's awesome. So much fun. So much, yeah, goodness in this uh, product medley. Then there's a thank you. And then a bunch of beautiful floral and kind of leafy images. Um, and then the dies, actually. Let's open those up so you guys can see those because these, everything is rosy die cuts will die cut, <laughs> right? A bunch of those images. And let me, we're gonna just open these right up so you can see all of these dies. So yeah, all of these things with kind of the outlining edges are what are gonna coordinate and cut out these images. And then there's some other beautiful, really spriggy, I call them spriggy kind of things. And then um, that's like a really awesome border kind of a thing there too. So beautiful stamp set and framelits, right? And then there's more, so let's scoot that back in there. Let's see, oops, can I get that popped back in? Okay. Yep, so stamp set and framelits, and then you guys, okay, so seriously, there is a whole slew of designer series paper, and I'm going to try to separate them out. There are, and it's still, I thought, because I was getting frustrated, I did a Facebook Live the other day, and I kept getting all these texts, and I had to keep swiping things out of the way, so I was like, all right, I'm going to put my phone on Do Not Disturb, so that doesn't happen anymore, and then that call came through. So sorry about that. I think we're good now. It might have interrupted for a sec. But okay, so these are all of, there are six different patterns. And then there's a the backside. These all have the rose gold foil. Oh my gosh, this is like another reason enough just to get this full product medley because we've never had anything with rose gold accents on it, right? Okay, so this is one side, right? <laughs> and you got yours yesterday too, Nikki. That is awesome. And then these are just a little bit softer. You know, they're not as sparkly and rose goldy, right? But still just as beautiful. And I believe, so we have Night of Navy, we have some Melon Mambo. That looks like maybe... Um, the blue, balmy blue, and then I actually used powder pink with mine. Maybe you could use Blushing Bride because powder pink is going to be retiring, um, but if you have it, that's what I used on mine. Um, but look, at, isn't that awesome? You've got eight sheets of each of these too, so beautiful. I love all of these things, right? Okay, so full pack of that designer series paper. I was feel like I was like shuffling cards there. And then you get eight sheets of, ooh, it's almost like a mirror. What are you guys seeing? <laughs> I don't know if I want you to see whatever you're seeing in the mirror. Um, but the rose gold foil paper, you get eight sheets of that paper as well. Beautiful. And then these are so cool. We have not done these before in a kit like this. So these are actual die cuts. And I'm trying to be careful to not make them pop out. Um, so, but that's all you do, they're perforated. So you just pop those out. So you get two sheets of kind of the printed floral. And then these are super cool too. These are all like little labels. So all of these stamps, of course, fit perfectly right inside these labels. So you get another two sheets of these labels and then that really pretty flower. And then another two sheets with rose gold detail on them too. So another couple of sheets with more labels that again, your um, sentiments can fit perfectly right inside those little labels. And they all, so everything just coordinates and works so well together. I think that's the idea of the product medley that you get this awesome kind of packet of goodies and everything works really, really well together. Then you also get, these are, <laughs> it's like paper pumpkin on steroids, yes. That's it exactly, Nikki. Yeah, you just get so much more product in it. Um, so these are, I'm trying to remember what they're called. They're like a rose gold 
um, and I've got them in the package here. I'm going to show you on the projects. I think it will make a little bit more sense because there's actually like a little um, covering that you peel off because they look a little bit fuzzy almost in here, and they are because you have to peel that little that little guy off. Um, but they're just really fun kind of to put into the center of flowers or just kind of sprinkle around on your card. Rose gold mirror adhesive back sequins or something like that. Anyway, and then you get two full bolts of ribbon. And I'm not even going to open these yet. I'm going to show you. I actually have my ribbon. So I'm going to show you my ribbon right here. So this is some of the, this is like a, a ruched ribbon in melon mambo so super cute and of course it you know coordinates beautifully and then <laughs> i think i said this before but i seriously had to get this whole product medley just because i had to get my hands on this ribbon i don't know if you can see how beautiful it is so it's a knight of navy uh, a satin ribbon and then it's got the rose gold stitching on either side it is beautiful i love that ribbon and I'm going to have to put it back here because we're actually going to use it on a project and I can see myself flinging this away somewhere and not coming up with it again. And then they also give you a full jar of, this is shimmer paint, rose gold shimmer paint. So you can, what I was telling people at class the other day, if you just kind of tip this upside down, some of that ink is going to go into the cap. And then grab a little sponge dauber and you can just daub your little dauber right in the cap. And then you can even just ink up one of your stamps. So daub the ink right on there, stamp it. If you wanna get crazy, you can even put some clear embossing powder and then emboss it too. So lots of good ideas. Um, another thing you can do with the shimmer paint, if you put some drops of shimmer paint in, um, like a spritzer with some rubbing alcohol. You can spray the spritzer and then just kind of spritz some rose gold accents on your project. So lots of fun things you can do with that, right? So awesome. You get all of this product for just $80, but just make sure it's only available in May. It's not something that's going to be um, featured in the next annual catalog. So don't wait. If you want this, make sure you get it, right? And then also, like I said, I'm going to give away like a sampler of the paper and the ribbon and the shimmer paint and these rose gold um, mirror back adhesive backed whatever embellishments this is what I'm going to give away a sampler of this with your online order next week so I'll do that drawing and some lucky winner will get a little sampler of this so don't hesitate if you don't have this yet go ahead and order it and then you'll just get a little bit more product that you can play with um, in addition to the product medley that you order or go ahead and get your um, retiring last chance products and then you'll get a little sampler of this that you can play with because even if you don't have the stamp set and frameless everything else coordinates so nicely that you'd be able to come up with other cute projects but the idea was you get all of this and then it's just this box of goodness that you can create lots of cute projects really quickly and easily too especially with those like adding the flowers if you don't want to do lots of stamping and die cutting and then with those little labels too you can just stamp your sentiments and pop them right on there so that is the Everything is Rosy product medley. And I have been dying to get that in my hands and show you guys. So finally, we were able to do that. Okay, I think we are ready to do our stamping. All right, I'm going to scoot that up out of the way a little bit. All right, let's get this so we're fully in view. Okay, all right. So today, I'm going to show you guys a couple of projects that I made with the Everything is Rosy product medley. So you can see that is some of that rose gold foil paper with some of those spriggy things, as I'm calling them, some of the dyes. And then here is one of those, oh, there we go, the mirror, rose gold mirror adhesive back embellishment kind of a thing and with that cute little curly q thank you on there so let me go ahead and show you oh and the other thing i had to use i love this is the lovely floral embossing folder can you see that detail there and i thought it worked really well it doesn't mirror it exactly which i don't think you want to but some of the detail in that embossing folder is really accented nicely with the details from the Everything is Rosy product bundle and um, or product medley. Make sure this is one of those embossing folders that is retiring. A bunch of um, embossing folders are retiring. So make sure you get that while you still can. Okay. All right. Let's see. I'm going to get my ink. I'm going to actually put that right up there so I know what I'm doing. 
and these things. My little punch. Okay. Get all my stamping out. And the thing I want to show you guys first is the embossing. Good, I did bring. Let's do this. Actually, I gotta show you guys those too. I, I, something else just caught my eye. I'm like, oh, I need to show you guys that too. But we're gonna do that in just a little bit. Oops, let's scoot that over a little bit more. Okay, so I need my regular platform. And then I've got, this is my card base, Knight of Navy, that measures four and a quarter by 11. So since I've already got this down here, I'm just gonna tell you guys, I cut it in half along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter, and then along the 11 inch side, I scored it in half at five and a half inches, okay? And where's my embossing folder? Here we go, okay. So I've got my embossing folder, and I just want it, this was, it's a little bit tricky, I guess I would say. So you wanna kinda put it in just on the corner, and we don't even wanna go up all the way because I don't wanna make a crease in the top of my paper right there, okay? So I'm gonna put it in and I'm gonna crank it through before I get here and I'm gonna crank it back out. Um, and if you did get the crease, it's not the end of the world, but I kind of was trying to avoid that. So does that kind of make sense? You guys can see what I'm doing there. So just kind of right on, and because I don't typically, um, isn't that funny? I guess we're gonna to have to go through there. Somehow I did it the other day. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. Um, I don't typically, I guess is what I was starting to say, I don't typically, um, that's probably what I did, I probably backed it in last time, um, emboss right on my card base. So let's see, how did we do? Not too bad, there's a teeny tiny indentation there, but you're not even gonna see that. But look at, isn't that, oh I love, I, oh I, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to give up that embossing folder. I really do love it. Okay, and, Let's see, I'm gonna keep this. Nope, we gotta do our stamp thing and then we can do our other die cutting here. Okay, so we got that embossed. We have, I'll give you measurements of a couple of other things. This is a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Hi, Vina, how are you? Um, that goes on the inside of the card. So this Whisper White piece measures four by five and a quarter inches. And then these are the other pieces that I put on the front of the card. We've got Melon Mambo that measures three and one eighth by three and one eighth, so a square of that. And then the super cute, do you see? <laughs> I love all of the sparkle on there. That everything is rosy um, designer series paper. And this piece measures three by three inches, okay? And then let's see, let me grab, I'm gonna do some stamping here. We've got that one there too, okay. So let's see, oops, I need my navy ink here too. Okay, so I've got my Knight of Navy ink and this cute little leaf, super duper cute. We're gonna stamp him right on there, right? Then move that, nope, I might need that still. That's right, okay. And then I'm gonna use some Melon Mambo. <laughs> it's good to see you too, Vina. <laughs> Okay, and then Melon Mambo, and we're going to put that guy right there, right? And it's meant to be kind of crooked like that, too. I will tell you, you have to sometimes spin that framelit around till you find just the right way that it goes to get it die cut. Okay, and then, like I said, this is powder pink ink with my other little flower right there, okay? So we are going to die cut those. Um, before, no, let's see. I'm gonna stamp my little teeny tiny little curly cute thank you in Night of Navy ink. I'm gonna stamp this right on there. Look at you guys, I just think it's so cute. There's something about those little curly cues that are just so, <laughs> I love them. So cute. And then this is, um, I don't know, Skinny Label Punch. That's not the official name, but that's what I'm calling it right now because that's what it feels like, a Skinny Label Punch. We're going to just, can you guys see that? Just pop that guy right in there. All good to go. Okay. And then we're going to do our die cutting. Let's move these guys 
Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I was like, wait a minute, there's one more stamp I didn't touch. So these, this little goes, those little dots go in the center of our flower. Okay. So Knight of Navy, and we're gonna just pop that. Ha, so cute, huh? Right in there. Okay. All right, I think I've used all the stamps that I was supposed to use, so I'm gonna move those guys out of the way. Actually, we're gonna just pull that right off of there. Okay, so now we have, let's move those over a little bit. Okay, so we've got all of our dies or our stamps there. Where are my, oh, right here. <laughs> like, I thought I remembered to bring the dies home. So let's see, we need, this is the one that I was saying you have to kind of flip around, although I think I might have it figured out. So before I was having to like keep circling around and around and around, but eventually you figure out how it lines up and it's really not that big of a deal. Um, okay, let's pop this guy. It's like that pansy punch that we had. That was one that was a little bit trickier because you'd have to spin the paper around inside the punch. Okay. There's that one, and then our little leaves, so cute. And now my magnetic platform is gonna be a little funny, of course, because I have everything else lined up. There we go, right? Okay, pop. So I've got my magnetic platform, the one clear cutting pad underneath, and then my paper and my framelits, and the other clear cutting pad on top. And these things just all pop out so perfectly. Look at that, right? Okay, so we're gonna scoop those guys right over here. All right, I think we are ready to put our first card together. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do my stamping on this piece right here. So, good thing I didn't move my ink too far away. I just like to put those little flowers, you see how I did that, just right inside there. It's really hard to write, you know, on a night of navy. Um, piece, you know, you wouldn't be able to see it very well. So we're gonna stamp a couple more flowers and then we gotta put those little blue centers in our flowers again. These cute little dots, I love just those little details. And I'm finding, I don't know if you're seeing me do that, but sometimes I feel like my hand's a little bit shaky so I'm kind of putting my little pointer finger right kind of in the corner and it's helping me kind of keep things steady as I put these little stamps down to the paper. So that's just kind of a little, something I started doing without even realizing it. And then I was like, hey, that might be something you guys might wanna know about. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this piece right on the inside of our card. Okay, so here's my Knight of Navy card base that I had done that embossing. I have to show you that one more time because it gets a little bit covered up. But, oh. <laughs> I love that embossing folder. Have I said that enough times yet? <laughs> okay, um, let's see. So we're gonna just kinda, and you guys know this, right? With your snail adhesive, if you don't press down right away, you can, okay, take a quick peek, make sure you like it, and then press firmly to get everything in place, okay? We are gonna kinda build this piece and then put it on our card. So here's our designer series paper. We're gonna put it, and I love just that little peak of Melon Mambo with that eighth inch layering around there. Again, these were, the DSP was three by three, and the Melon Mambo piece was three and one eighth by three and one eighth. Okay, and let's see, that can go. Make sure it's straight. When I made the card um, the other day, I kept looking at it like, I don't know if that's very straight. <laughs> I had to peel it off and start over. Okay, so we're just gonna put some adhesive on the back of these guys. We are gonna put this one, maybe, oh, you know what I forgot to do? One of the prettiest parts as I'm putting this together. So we need, this is some of, I know, Philomena, I love that embossing folder. <laughs> my, yeah. You know, as I said that too, Sharon, yes, my little pointer finger as opposed to my large pointer finger. <laughs> I, when I said that, I was I was thinking, yeah, that it's not really that little, Amy. <laughs> Sharon, you are on top of things. Nothing gets past you, does it? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. So, okay, back to, this is my rose gold, um, sh what is this called? Ro rose gold foil paper. And then this is this awesome, I love this detail on this little baby. Okay, so check this out. Um, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back and forth um, like a couple times. So sorry, it might wiggle. So just close your eyes for a sec. I'll tell you when you can open them. I'm gonna make sure, there, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so this is so cool. Cause it, so you see how it just popped right out of there? So now I'm gonna use my Big Shot die brush to just kind of release those little bits. Oh no, something must, that must be sticky on there or something, sorry about that. Okay, everything went flying. Hopefully I didn't lose anything when I go to put it together or finish. Okay, so I'm just using my Big Shot die brush to kind of release things. And then I do have my paper piercing tool here too. You just need to be a little bit careful. I, I think, I, I was originally saying I didn't rip any of them, but one of them was really funny and it did get a little ripped. So in general, there, and you can poke that out too. It's funny, this is actually more work than any of the others had been so far to get that out of there. They actually release really, really nicely. So look at, isn't that all that shimmery goodness there? Okay, so let's move that guy and this guy. Oh, that's what I needed too was my, um, let me grab my dimensionals. I forgot to bring, because I want to put some adhesive on this and I don't want to get this all sticky. So I'm just going to use the back of my dimensionals as, um, and it does get a little bit sticky on there, but I'd rather have it on here than on here. It's kind of like your silicone mat. Okay, so I've just got a little bit of adhesive there and I'm just going to kind of pop this maybe right about there, okay? Then I'm going to add that flower and you can do these however you like, right? And then I'm going to just pop this little guy right underneath there, right? Okay, so we've got those little bits. Now I have to use one of these fun. So these are those rose gold mirror adhesive backed embellishments. Can you see how I'm just kind of peeling that little thing off? And it, they almost, it was almost like if you kind of, I don't want to say break it, but it is kind of bend it, then the whole row kind of pops up and becomes easier. And now I'm not demonstrating that very well because I'm trying not to. <laughs> there, you see how it almost kind of broke it right there? Then it just pops right out. And there's a little adhesive um, mini glue dot back there. So that goes right on there nicely and easily. Then we have that cute little curly Q thank you. And we are gonna use a couple of our little mini dimensionals because they fit perfectly behind our skinny label, not the name of it for real, <laughs> punch, okay? And that can go, where do I like it? Oops, I didn't get that off. I kept thinking that doesn't feel like it's sticking on there very well. And I'm gonna put that one maybe right about there. And that is it. <laughs> Sharon, I'm still laughing at your comment. So, so cute. So don't you love, I love all those rose gold accents, right? On um, the little sprig and the little mirror piece. And then teeny tiny, you can see just a little bit of rose gold detail. Plus I love the navy and the pink. It's like preppy, I think, I don't know. <laughs> so super cute. And this is just one of like 10 million possibilities of projects that you can make with that whole um, Everything is Rosy product medley. Okay, let me show you, I've got one more card and then don't let me forget, I've got one more thing I wanna show you guys too. So this is the other card that we made and this is using one of those labels along with that beautiful ribbon and then some of the designer series paper, I really just couldn't get enough of using like um, big pieces of that designer series paper. And then here's another little sprig and some leaves. So let me show you, this one is pretty darn simple we need our Knight of Navy ink. And the main thing is honestly, I'm just trying to decide which sentiment on which label you want to use. So let's take a quick look at my labels here. And so this is what I was saying too, how easy it is to, I think I really, I like that label a lot. 
So we're going to use that one. That was kind of the fun thing at class. People got to pick what label and what sentiment. So whatever they wanted to use, you can see a couple of them there got used to. So we're going to use this label right here, I think. I'm trying to decide. Are we going to do a different um, stamp? Then I was kind of curious about this one. Time to celebrate all the lovely things in life, starting with you. So you know what? I think I do because on this one I used... And I was a little um, smudgy in my stamping here. Hey, Sherilyn, how are you doing? Uh, may your birthday be filled with pretty things. So I don't, that would fit perfectly in there. And I don't, I don't want to do the same sentiment. So let's actually, instead of, let's try, <laughs> I'm thinking, let's try a bigger one. Let's do this one right here. Okay. So my navy ink. So not as much die cutting on this one because these labels are already all kind of die cut for us. So just make sure to push straight down. I think I wiggled a little bit when I stamped the last one. So there, that looks good. I am gonna set that aside though so we can kind of just let that dry. I don't really think it would smudge, but we've got some other work we need to do so we might as well do that and then come back to um, that little label and getting that pulled out. So, okay, this time we have, this is my thick Whisper White cardstock. So my eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. I cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half. And then along the eight and a half inch side, I scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So there, we got our nice crisp fold on our card. <laughs> Thank you, Susie. I'm glad you like that one. And then this is more of that beautiful, look at all that rose gold goodness designer series paper with some fun stripes on the back too. Okay, so this piece of designer series paper or DSP as we call it for short is three inches by five and a half inches. And then I have just kind of on the edges, they kind of go underneath on either side, um, pieces of rose gold foil paper that me measure one half by five and a half, and you need two of those. And then I just have this little kind of extra piece of rose gold foil paper um, for my little sprig, and then this one we're gonna use this Whisper White for our stamping. So let's scoot those guys up there, and actually this one, that is gonna go with that. Okay, so let's do our stamping with our um, little leaves. So I've got some, we made some pretty blue, some Night of Navy leaves. So we're gonna stamp that leaf right there, and then that one right there. And they're meant to look a little kind of frosted, I guess I would say. They're not meant to be super solid image stamps. So just know that when you stamp them, it's okay if they look a little, I don't know, kind of frosted almost. Okay, so again, we've got our big shot, and I've got, so that little, because these come in six by six, so I was using all my little bits and pieces, especially for a teeny tiny little sprig like that. You don't need a big piece, right? Um, okay, and then our leaves. So we've got that framelit there and that one there. Okay, sometimes I feel like I should have some mood music playing in the background. <laughs> like, oh, it's so quiet. So I just have to like chatter a lot, right? Okay, so we're gonna crank these through. And I want to go over that spriggy thing. Sorry, I'm going to do that a couple of, whoops, and I flipped out on me. Sorry, I know it's wiggling. Ah, there we go. Yes, it is a beautiful set of products. That thing moved, but I think it's going to be all right because we're going to kind of cover. It'll just look a little, <laughs> it's a little off, but we're going to, it's in layers, so you won't really even notice that very much. And then this little, my other little spriggy guy, we're going to get the dye brush again. And whoa, flinging things everywhere. Okay, let's grab this little baby. So again, we're just gonna kind of use this. And sometimes those little, <laughs> does that happen to you guys? Well, that worked out pretty well. Sometimes those little things get caught in the dye. But then look, there's our other little spriggy guy that popped right out for us. Okay, now we can go ahead and start adding our adhesive and putting our card together. So I'm gonna just put some adhesive on the back along both edges. And then I'm just gonna kinda of add these little strips of rose gold foil paper. There's gonna be one there. And then we're gonna flip this over. 
and do another one right there. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure those are on well. Now I'm gonna add some more adhesive along the back of those strips. There's, I did get, as much as I tried not to get adhesive, <laughs> everything's flinging. I feel like I got a little bit because I feel like something keeps sticking here for me. Okay, so then we're gonna add these guys right on here. Do, do, do. Okay. Oh, back to our label. Now we can pop this little baby out. And it looks like I'm gonna need my little um, paper piercing tool because there are these little, I think those come out. Yeah, yeah, we gotta pop those. Ooh, look at how cute those are. I think I love this label more. I should have known. <laughs> Sorry, maybe I could have had a couple of these done beforehand. I wasn't sure which one I was gonna wanna use. It's, you know, you just kinda never know these things. So there's just a little bit of work you need to do to get these little babies out of here, but it's gonna be totally worth it. All these cute little polka dots are gonna be so cute when they're all done. Okay, you know, the live part of this, um, I'd probably be a lot faster if you guys weren't watching on the live. What do you guys wanna talk about while I'm doing this? <laughs> oh, Nikki, you're at work, aren't you? I just saw you pop back on. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that. Maybe you're at lunch. No, you're not at lunch right now though either, are you? <laughs> Cause you're on a different time zone. Oh, well don't get in trouble. I love that you wanna watch, but don't get in trouble. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Cause I don't wanna pull too hard and like rip the little label, right? Cause they're so cute and it's gonna be totally worth it. <laughs> I'm just sure of it, ladies. It's going to be worth it when I get... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, two more. I think they're, like, all stuck underneath my fingernails, too. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think I got them. There, good. Okay, so seriously. Well, maybe you'll be able to... Can you see it better if I put it down there? Those cute little... <laughs> I don't think you can, can you? You guys have to be able to see how cute it is after that work I did, right? Those little bubbles, those little holes. Very, very, very cute. Okay, we need some dimensionals on the back of this guy. So we're gonna put a couple of these back here. And I'm gonna use this again because I want to put just a little bit of adhesive on my sprig and then in each of my leaves too. Okay. So let's pop these guys off. The dimensionals is all I'm doing, getting the backs of the dimensionals off. One more. Okay, we are gonna put him maybe right about there. Then we are going to add, where do we wanna, maybe we'll put that one over there a little bit more. That one and that one, and then our little spriggy man right there okay now one of my like i said my most favorite parts where did my ribbon go oh my goodness well seriously i know it's here somewhere oh it's right here in front of my face i thought i didn't have it <laughs> i actually thought ahead earlier okay so i'm going to use my gorgeous knight of navy and rose gold stitched edging ribbon Oh, heading to lunch. Oh, you, oh, I see you start early. Okay, well, that's good. So you're almost on lunch. Yikes. That's really early, Nikki. <laughs> you can tell I'm not a morning person, right? Okay, so we're going to put that there. And then we're going to grab a glue dot. So do you guys see how endless the possibilities are with those cute little label die cuts? Yay, and the beautiful ribbon that coordinates. Time to celebrate all the lovely things in life. I should, probably should have moved that down a little bit. Oh well, <laughs> starting with you, right? Oh, I love it. And then here's the other cute one, the may your birthday be filled with pretty things. So lots of different possibilities. Oh my gosh, so much beautiful designer series paper. The ribbon is amazing. You guys have to get this product medley if you don't have it already. I'm telling you, you're gonna be really disappointed because I know you're gonna see a million projects out there. 
Um, oh, actually, one more. Speaking of a million projects, hold on. I have to show you guys these cute little treats that I made, too. And I'm going to do a YouTube video on these, so just so you know that. But I thought, oh, this is a great way for you to see some of those little die cuts, the kind of colorful die cuts in action. So that's just one die cut popped out, one of those little um, uh, rose gold mirror back thingies, a little dear friend and more spriggy. And then there's that ribbon too. You can see the beautiful ribbon. So like I said, I'm going to do a YouTube video on how to make these cute little treat holders. Um, it actually is like a little slider. <laughs> I love doing these things. About once a year I have to break these out um, so you can see how cute they are and yummy and fun goodness. So YouTube video on those, but that kind of shows you some more of the designer series paper and how well everything works together too, right? So, okay, just a quick recap, especially for those new to Facebook Live, make sure if you put an online order in of at least $30 by next Wednesday, you are gonna get both of the projects that I demonstrated today, right? And your name is going to go into the drawing to win. Basically, it's a sampler of all of this. Um, everything is rosy goodness, the product medley goodness. So you're going to get a sampler of all of the consumables in there. Okay? Make sure you used host code UMM7H63Q. And then, as always, if you bump your order up to $50, you get a free embellishment in addition to the projects and possibly winning the drawing. So thank you guys so much for watching. I got to run because I've got class in about 20 minutes. I got to get down to the stamp studio. So you guys have a great weekend. Have a great Mother's Day. I hope you get spoiled just that little bit this weekend. And I'll see you guys next Friday. Thank you so much for being here with me. Bye, everybody.